Look, I love an 8 cloud, it's cheap, simple and honestly it's what I use most of the time. But here's the thing, sometimes you want control. You want it fast, private and free. So today I will show you how to run an 8 completely free on your machine. And at the end I'll show you how to take it online with Railway. This way you can actually deploy real automations for your clients. So why even bother? Well, because it's free, you have absolutely no hidden fees and it's private. All right, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so first thing you need Docker. So if you don't already have it, just grab Docker desktop from docker.com or click the link in the description below. Then press on download Docker desktop, choose the right version for your device. I'm going for the first one, download it, then just install it. After you've installed it, then you should see something similar to this right here, just that it will be empty. Now to check if everything is running as expected, hover over this little way right here. Then go ahead and open a terminal, just go on your launchpad and search for terminal. Write docker minus v, this will give you the version of the docker you have installed. Then write docker compose minus v. And this is something we'll be using to run our servers. Now go ahead and create a new folder. Then open a text editor. I'm just gonna open the default Mac one. Click on new document. I'm gonna format it, but most text editors should already be formatted. Copy and paste this right here. I'll put it in the video description. We are gonna run the following services. We are gonna run NA10. Which image are we gonna use? We're gonna use the latest one. Then the ports that this local uh, application will be running on. This is the default one. You should have it free. Then the volumes. This is where NA10 is gonna store its data. And the environment in here, you just have to specify the time zone. This will impact how times are shown to you in the application. And then that's pretty much it. Go ahead and save it and choose the folder that you just created and give it this name docker minus compose.yml and save it and uh, use the YAML extension. Don't use the TXT extension because it won't work. Then go back to your terminal and navigate to the folder you just created or you can directly open the terminal here. You can navigate with CD, then just write docker minus compose space up. So we're gonna have to wait for a while. Now it's gonna create the volume and it's gonna run. Editor is now accessible via and it will give you a link. So just copy and paste it. And this is your first local instance of an 8 and see how simple that was. Now we got to set up the owner account. I'm just going to use my details and the simple password. I don't want product updates. Then what best describes your company? This doesn't matter. You just have to fill them out. And press on get started. Okay. Now I have my local instance of NA10 created. It's identical to the cloud. Now that we have our instance configured, it's running on our local, it's completely free. We're gonna create a new workflow. We're gonna add a webhook node. Okay, but as you can see here, all the URLs are localhost. This means that those are only running on your local machine. This means nobody from an external application can reach you. First, let me define what a webhook is. So basically, this is a new URL that other applications use to call you. Okay, let's take the following example. Let's say you have an Instagram page, you are posting on it. And then every time someone comments on one of your posts, you want to send them a DM. Okay, basically, that means that you'll have to configure this URL right here into Facebook. And this will not work because this URL is only on your local machine. So you'll have to expose a tunnel. This is a bit more complex, but you only have to do it once. So let me go ahead and show you how. Okay, we'll use ngrok for this. So go to ngrok.com, press on get started for free. Then I'll just sign up with Google. Okay, so just go on ahead and open the terminal again. Right now, if you close this one, you will close your local instance of NA10, but this is a good moment to show you how to restart it if you close it. So basically, you can just press Control c right here and uh, close it. Then go back to the Docker desktop interface and you don't have to go in the terminal each time now. You can just press on the play button right here. 
and it will run your instance again. Okay, now in the terminal, just follow along with the steps right here. If you're on another platform, just press right here and choose another platform and configure the steps. I'm just gonna copy those right here and paste them in my terminal. If you don't have Brew, you can search online for the steps to install it. Or you can just go right here, press on download and go request successfully installed. Now let's run the following command to add our authentication token to our Angrok file. This is the auth token. I will uh, delete it. I will get a new one after this video. So you can choose the one on my account. You should have a different one. Don't share this with anyone. And I'm gonna paste it here. Okay, application save to configuration file. Okay, now what we need to do is run ngrok HTTP and then the port on which we are running our NA10 instance. So basically we can go right back in Docker and check right here it's running on port 5678. Okay, now ngrok just uh, started on our local machine. Then if we're gonna close this console window, it will stop. So basically it created this new URL for us, this one right here, which is pointing to our local host for the NA10 instance. So just go ahead and copy it, paste it on a new tab, go back in NA10, copy what's after localhost 5678 right here in the test webhook URL. Then press on listen for test event, go back to the new window and paste what you copied right here. And this should be a get to our webhook URL. So through the internet, we are calling the webhook. Okay, the message workflow was started right here. Node executed successfully. We have the headers, the cookies and everything. So we can see that our webhook worked. Okay, so basically every time you want to develop a workflow which uses webhooks, you'll need to run grok. But you won't have to install it each time, just run the last command that we run. It's just this one right here, ngrok HTTP, and then you give it the port of the application you want to create a tunnel for. Basically, it will be 5678 for you every time. Okay, so just a heads up, this URL that ngrok generated will change every time you restart it. But it won't change if you're under paid plan. This is more than perfect enough for testing, demos and development. And you won't keep a production environment on your local, let's be real, so you don't need a paid plan right now. Okay, now if we want to create new workflows, ones that don't use a webhook, we can definitely close Angrok by pressing Ctrl C. Okay, so we just stopped. Then we can add a new step. Let's check the triggers right here on chat message. Then press on open chat. We can just talk right here. Hey, nobody's gonna respond. Then we can add an open AI node, just as in our other workflows. Message a model, then right here we need to configure our credentials. So go ahead and paste your API key. Let me actually paste mine also. Settings, API keys. I'm just gonna create a new secret key. I'm gonna give it a name, temporary one, because I'll be deleting it. Select the project, default one, create secret key. Then I'm just gonna copy it and paste it right here in item for the API key. Then I'm gonna press on save, credentials successfully created inside your personal space, then it tested successfully. We can just choose the model. Okay, let's search for the latest one, which is uh, 5, 5, GPT-5. Okay, let's use GPT-5 mini, because we want it to answer fast. Then we're gonna tell it, you are an AI assistant chatbot for an AI company called Brand Bounce make people buy our products. I'm not gonna give it any context because it doesn't matter. We're just gonna tell it user message and then we're just gonna drag and drop the chat input from here. Bam. Okay, then we're gonna execute the step. Oh, it's thinking. It's thinking a bit too much. I'm gonna have to use Forum Mini because it's faster. Okay, the text looks awful. We have to do some formatting in it, but you get the point. We are on our local, we built a workflow and it's running completely for free. Let's say that you have a customer, you've built a workflow and you want to take it online. So you can, you have multiple options. I'm just gonna show you an easy one. You'll be online in 10 minutes stops. Okay, so basically now that I've showed you how to run it locally, let's say that you have finished testing your workflows, building them, but now you want to deploy them for your customers to use. 
So go, let's go ahead and deploy it online. This will cost because we'll, using, we'll be using a hosting provider, but we'll see how much as we go. So go ahead and search for railway, press on login, then create a new account. I've logged in with my Google account. Okay, now that we have an account in order to deploy, we'll need to upgrade our account. It doesn't work on our free trial. So uh, we'll just have to click right here on unlock full trial. Okay, then we're gonna have to select whatever we need. So for now, just select hobby, deploy it hobby. Okay, so I just subscribed, it's loading right now. So let's go to dashboard and create a new project. We'll select templates, press on NA10. Then we'll be deploying four different applications. We're gonna be deploying NA10, then the worker, which is another app that NA10 uses. Redis, which is an in-memory database. This is also used by anything. You don't have to worry about it. And then we're also gonna deploy Postgres, which is a database used by anything. So let's just go ahead and press on deploy. It should take a few minutes. Okay, we can check the status right here. Press on the container. Deployment, your database is being deployed. This one, it's queued. So they're going one by one. Then the worker is also queued. Okay, in about five minutes, it was done. The deployment is done. Now we can check each container. Each one of them have deployments. We can redeploy. We have to configure some variables. See it right here. Okay, now that it's deployed, we can just go ahead and press on this, uh, on the service right here is the primary N8 and image. Then press on settings. And right here, you have this public networking part in which Railway created a domain for you. You can add a custom one, but you can just use this one. So just go ahead and press on it. And this is the URL for your production anytime. So go ahead again and configure your, uh, and configure your account. This don't matter. And now we can just go ahead on our local environment, take our workflow, press right here on download go back to our production instance and just create a new workflow press on import and just select the workflow you just downloaded and it will display right here in your production environment okay the credentials are not copied so you'll have to create new ones because those are private but yeah you have your own production na10 environment okay, and that's it guys you have your own na10 production instance you can press on settings, check your usage. So yeah, if you don't want to mess with Docker, tunnels and railway, just use anything cloud. It's easy, it's affordable and honestly, it's what I use most of the time, mainly for simplicity. Links down below if you want to check that out. But here's my advice to you. Go cloud if you want it simple and fast, but if you want it fully yours, go self-hosted. Now I'm curious, what about you? Would you rather keep it simple with anything cloud or run your own server? Comment cloud or self-host down below. I wanna see what most of you are using. And if you want more deep dives and real working automations, make sure to subscribe before you go.